What's going on guys? You got Kwasi here for Kwasi Animation Studio and Kwasi Media Network. All right, so today we're going to talk about two things that you need. So this is continuing in way of talking about uh, what I started in a live stream yesterday and my internet went down. So right now I'm waiting on them to come and fix it and it won't be till Tuesday Central Time US. So with that being said, what you need is this program if you're trying to import export uh, Xenoverse 2 style characters. So what you would need is Yance, uh, the Yance add program application from animegamemods.net org.com. You can look it up. All right, so it's spelled Y-A-C-E. It's gonna be a zip file, you're gonna unzip it, and then you're gonna open the executable, and it's gonna ask you for the CPK file and the save path. So you'll hit browse, and it'll show you various CPKs. Now, you can open these other ones if you want. I don't need them. So what I did was, these two. So the first one will be the data CPK and the second one would be the data zero CPK. You don't need the other ones. All right. So like I said, if you want all this other stuff, you can, but you don't really need it. All right. Okay. So then once you get done doing that, then you'll set your path to whatever you want it to be. All right. Okay. And then what you want to do is have the MD to FBX executable again on the same site underneath tools all right so it'll be for Xenoverse Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 okay so now what we want to do is go into our CPKs and go into data and you want to go to skill so I already have all this set up so I decided to get um, I want to save the Genki dump so this was 004 Goku underscore GKD, which is the spirit ball. All right, so I already have that saved. So what I do now is just go to where I have it. And then I, then what you want to do is take that file. I already have it in a folder because I had to re-record this video. And you want to, I copied it to a new folder. So the ENA is what you want, the dot ENA. Okay, nothing else. Then you're going to send that put that in the emd.fbx and it's going to give you a .out file and I renamed that to spirit ball so what we'll do is go into blender and I'm going to bring in a character all right so we're going to use the same character I used before um where you at where you at so I was using my character for my ROD series rise of the Derulians rise of the Derulians Zilker Okay, so we can go to the front and I'm gonna go all transforms. So I hit control A and hit all transforms. That's what I did. I had, you don't have to do that, but that's what I chose to do. Okay, so you go into my sampling 16. Okay, now I'm going to create a new collection. I'm just gonna call it animations. All right. And then we're going to import that FBX. So go import FBX. I'm going to go to that folder that we have the FBX in. And because the character is going to, the model is just going to be the bones or the armature. So we want that to turn around the proper direction. So we're going to click manual. We're going to go down to Z forward, not negative Z forward, Z forward. We're not going to change the bone orientation unless you did that with your model that you already tend to use. Keep the animation on and you should be good from there okay you can also save this as a preset by hitting this button and then just going there's the preset okay all right so i'm going to import just wait for that to load okay so i'm going to move this over okay so it's in the right or proper uh, direction lift this up i'm going to hit g negative one because I have my set zero, not one. Okay, so there it is right there. I know that this is 360 frames, but I'll make it 357. And we're gonna go to the last frame. It's not following. Okay, I'm gonna switch my stuff to frame drop. All right, so that's the last frame. Okay, all right. 
Okay, so I'm going to turn off. No, I'll leave it on. But I'm going to go to the T pose and turn it off and delete that. Bring it back, delete it again. Bring it back. Delete it again. All right, because I want this to go away. I don't want that to still be there. All right. So we have that one animation. Okay. Now I'll click Zilker and give him the same animation. Now, as you see, he's in the air. There's a reason for that because this right here at the bottom is the actual, we go to it, is the base bone. Okay, as you see here in the corner it says base. Okay, so the base for him is on his body. However, it's not down here. I want this down on the 3D cursor. So we're gonna go into the animation tab. We need a graph editor on a thing, horizontal. All right, okay, so I'm gonna go graph editor, view, only selected curve for keyframes. Drop it. We know this is on the Y. Understand that it's not always on the Y. Okay. So when I go Y, he'll they'll go up and down. Okay. All right. So I'm select the whole character. Hit three to go to the side. Okay. All right. So since both characters or models are going to move, hit one. I'm going to come out of pose mode. I'm going to click this one, and I'm going to delete it. Okay. So I don't want him. All right. So the base is still selected. Okay. Now I'm going to click all of this, hit the period key, and then hit Y again, G, Y, and bring him down to his base. All right. All righty then, there we go. Okay, so now let's preview the animation. All right, so it's at 60 frames. He's doing his thing and won't, All right? Okay, so now, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to create three poses from this. Okay, maybe four. But I did what I wanted to do here in reference to that. Okay. All right. Excuse me. So now, all right, so let me say this. I'm using the game engine version of Blender. So when you see this stuff over here, don't get confused because that's for the game engine. Okay. But other than that, these are the things you should see. All right, so if I go here, again, you see culling and all this stuff. Don't worry about that. That's for the game engine version, but this is 3.0. Right. Okay, so now let's create a pose library. All right, so we can go to pose library. You have to be in pose mode, select. And in order for your poses to stick, you have to select all of the bones. But we can go new and we're gonna go DBZ poses. All right, ooh, I thought I did that differently. Never mind. DBZ poses. All right, make it a fake user, select everything, and I'm going to make this the first pose. Okay, so you hit the plus sign, new, and I'm just going to call it pose one. All right, then we'll, I don't know, let me push this down. All right, and let's just scale this and see what it is going to be. So I want this because I like this pose. Okay, I like that. Not going to lie. I think that's kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna make that a pose. Remember, everything's already selected. I'm gonna make this two, okay. Right about there, ooh, I like that. Okay, that's another pose. Make this pose three. All right, scale again. Okay. I like that, yeah. I like that too. Okay, so now the fourth pose. Make this four, pose four. All right. Now I'm going to turn this off. Click. We're going. We already have everything selected, and then we're going to hit Alt R or Alt G. All right. Okay. Now because I turned it off, nothing's going to influence when I use the different poses. Okay. So now when I click this sign right here, it says apply pose, library pose, boom. All right. So we can go through each one and there we have it. Okay. And you probably noticed this, noticed this pose from the thumbnail, All right? All right.
Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so now let's deal with some default work on posing the character, okay? Matter of fact, we're gonna make that a second video where we'll deal with doing in, in general animation. You already saw me do this with my character from Versus, uh, Minister Damien. So we're gonna do another one. This time we'll probably have him interacting in a building or something like that. So doing um, some sort of task or whatnot, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to check that out. I'll have that for you soon. But I hope this helps someone. If you have questions, leave in the comment section and I will make a video reply to that comment. Unless it's something I can just respond to in the comment section. And don't forget, tell somebody about it and hit the like button. Nothing but love.